Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial on the Konica Minolta Bisab series. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can use the uh, something called quick settings to make a, a typical copy job or scan job, any anything like that, to make it really easy using only one one push of, of a button to complete the job, regardless of how complex it is. So, if you come closer, I'll show you a couple of things here. We've got, um, you can see there's two, two buttons that I've actually, that I've programmed onto the front panel. Uh, one is called business card and one is called booklet with cover. And they are called quick settings uh, keys. And I'm going to show you how that can be used. And uh, after that I'm going to show you how to actually create it. So the first one, if I show you that one, it's called business card. And that is uh, basically save the routine of copying a business card as a quick setting or as a one touch key. So the way I would use that, I'll hit my business card key. I'll then put my business card uh, in the top left corner. I'll hit start. I now turn my business card over to copy the, the back of it. I hit start again. Once I'm done copying my ID cards, I'll press or business cards, I'll press finish and start to complete the job. And the machine will now print me out a uh, this uh, business card uh, enlarged and uh, and uh, put onto one page. So there we go. A fairly complex job is reduced to one key press. It's a pretty cool thing. Now I'm going to show you how to actually program that button. And the way we've done that is we have used a combination of mode memory and quick settings keys. So the first thing I do, if I'm going to start one from scratch, I'll first hit the reset button to take me back so I've got all the default settings. So what I did in this case was I'll go into application the normal way and I want to set up my card shot uh, uh, mode for copying business cards. So I might say OK, that's uh, I'm happy with those settings. I might go back to the basic tab and set it up as a color. Uh, job rather than a black and white copy. Once I've changed all my settings so I'm happy with with the job and I know that it's uh, all the settings are right I can then store that into mode memory and the way I do that I'll hit the mode memory key and it actually guides you with instructions uh, as you move along here like a wizard type thing so you select a blank program key to register the program then once you selected the blank key the whole register program lights up so I'll select that I'll give it a name so I might call that uh, uh, or I might call it uh, ID card ID card like that okay and that shows up on the new button there so now I've actually saved that as a mode memory key the next step to make it even easier, so I'll hit, so I'll reset to go back out. I now want to put that ID card mode memory key as a new shortcut key on here. So you see, I can have four of those along there. So to make a new key on there, I'll go into utility counter. I select number two user settings. I then select number two custom display settings, and I go into number one copier settings. And you'll see this is where we program. Uh, there's a shortcut key option and there's quick settings options. And you see that this is page one out of two. So I want to program quick settings number three now. So I'll go on page two, select quick settings three. I'm going to turn that on because that's not activated at the moment, but now it is. I'm going to select my copy program, which comes from mode memory. Select ID card which is the new one that I just created and OK, OK, close and I can now reset because that's being saved now and you can see I have a new quick settings button on there called ID card so I've reduced that whole job uh, down to one single push of a button 
And that's how easy it is to use the quick settings keys. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.